Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here with a word of comfort for God's people. Listen, God says to his people, he says to us, comfort ye, comfort ye my people. So I have a scripture that came to my mind from the Lord, Matthew chapter 11. And in that he says, this is, these are the words of Jesus talking to those of you who are really carrying a load, who are really burdened with care, with worries. Listen, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, for I am meek and lowly of heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Isn't that beautiful? That is so comforting to me. I love how God ministers comfort to us. And I just want to say to you, be encouraged. You're not in this alone. No matter what you're going through, no matter life, whatever life has thrown your way, no matter how you see your circumstances, no matter how you see the circumstances of the future of the United States of America, no matter how you feel, no matter what you're worried about, God is in control. You know, there's another scripture that says, he will keep you in perfect peace, perfect peace. If you keep your mind stayed on him, don't keep your mind on on uh, Obama. Don't keep your mind on President Trump. Don't keep your mind on anybody. Keep your mind on him, on God, and he will keep you in perfect peace. Where is your focus? What are you looking at? You looking at the man with the plan? You're looking at the man who had a plan. Now one's been replaced by the other. And everybody still, everybody panicked when President Obama was, was voted in. I went into a restaurant. And I mean, it was like I walked into a funeral. I could, now here was the funny part. It was mainly one persuasion that was sitting there. Christians sitting there in mourning. While most Christians were exuberant, now non-Christians or maybe Christian conservatives are more excited about President Trump being in office, while other Christians and other people are in mourning. Not, they're not only in mourning, they're in panic mode. Well, listen, who's your daddy? Who's in control of this thing? Hmm? Who made President Obama and President Trump, who made them? That's the one you go to. That's the one that's got your future in his hands. That's the one with the plan that will never fail. No matter what man does, the best laid plans of mice and men will, always, will sometimes go awry, but not God's. Trust in God. Listen, acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your path. Trust in God. You are not sitting here with no answers. You're not sitting here with no safety net. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Lean not into your own understanding, but in every way acknowledge him. I'm, I'm just uh, paraphrasing. You have got to learn to lean on God. There's an old uh, gospel song that says, Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning. 
you got to lean. You can't lean on this Lord and lean on that Lord and lean on this man and lean on that man and, and nobody down here your Savior. Nobody. Jesus Christ is your Savior. No other name but Jesus Christ. Do you hear me? Quit being afraid. And if you can't stop being afraid, ask God to give you peace. Listen, you know you can go to God and say, Lord, I'm really afraid. That's okay. But go to God with it. And ask him to speak to your spirit and calm you down. You know, sometimes I don't care how strong our faith is or, or how much favor we have in our lives from God. There are some scary moments along the way. And we have to run to him like a little girl runs to her daddy and hides up under his, under his arms. Daddy, the boogeyman. When we are afraid, he is our father. We are his children. We have the right to come boldly to the throne of grace. Sometimes we have to yell, God, I am so afraid. I don't know what to do. Please tell me. It's not always a little pious religious prayer. Sometimes you just got to blurt out how you're feeling and ask for help. And there are times you feel his peace go. I am telling you, God can do that for you. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. Fear not in the name of Jesus. Get your hand off the panic button in the name of Jesus. And get your hand on God's word. Start asking him to lead you to scripture. You will be shocked at some of the things he'll say in your life. He'll speak into you. And you won't be looking to a man or looking to the news. You'll be looking to God. You'll be waiting on him. Because you know that's where your change is going to come from. You hear me? Okay, I'm going to stop. Be encouraged. There is no problem on the face of this earth. No trial, no persecution, nothing that can hinder God from turning that thing around because God is more than able. He can do he can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ask or think. All that you could ask or think. I remember we had a a, a, a pastor down in Monrovia, Pastor Miriam Gonzalez, and she said the way she quoted it, she just kept rubbing it in and rubbing it in and it like the a light went on. Ding! And it just amazed me how she milked that one sentence. And she took a bottle of orange juice and took a glass, an empty glass. And the bottle of orange juice was like oh, almost like a half a gallon and the glass was eight ounces. And she poured and poured and she said, God can do exceedingly, not only exceedingly, exceedingly exceedingly abundantly abundantly the glass is filling up and then it spills over above all that you could ask or think above all that you could ask or think according to the power that works in us how much power you got working in you how much faith do you have in him i leave you with that question peace be still